Hi everyone, it's me, Jen from I'm Just Like You, and today I have yet another lip product collection video for you guys. I know a lot of you guys enjoy these type of reviews where I show you all the swatches on my lips, so hopefully this will be helpful for you guys when you are out there shopping for these Revlon lip products. So what I have are these Revlon Color Burst lacquer balms. They also come in this velvet matte form. So I have a variation of the very shiny finish as well as the matte finish. So let's just get right into the packaging. So first of all, the lacquer balms are the ones that are more hydrating. They're more um, shiny in the finish. They have a shiny finish type of packaging and the more matte one is going to have a matte one obviously so it's really great so you're not going to mistakenly take um grab one that isn't the finish that you are wanting so they are very similar to the clinique chubby stick in packaging wise as well as the um bitten stain from revlon that has came out which i did have a review on this one is a little bit different it isn't a stain it's more like a balm so it's kind of a cross between the original bitten stain balm stain um, and a lip butter in a way because it is very moisturizing what i love about the packaging and the product overall is the fact that you don't have to sharpen it you can just turn to get more of the product now when you get it it is it looks like this. The balm itself is kind of like a pointed shape, so it's really great for you to get into your lips and perfect your lip without having to wear a liner or using a brush. So that is a big plus. So it's really easy for application wise. The only thing I have to say is because it's already kind of peeking through when you buy it, that you have to be careful with recapping it. Like I'm such a klutz, I sometimes just like put it in and then I like mess up the top part. So that's like a short tip. And for the velvet one, it's exactly the same. I overall find that these formulation, um, it's super great. It's going to be one of my holy grail products for my lip products that is affordable as well as long lasting. Now, there are some colors in there that I just didn't think it worked very well just because of my complexion as well as the texture on my lips. But overall, I do find that it is very hydrating. Um, some of the velvet ones, I did find it to be kind of drying, obviously, since it is a matte. But when it glides on your lips, it's really, really great. I just suggest that you do wear a balm underneath. Now, let's just get started with describing some of the colors. So first off, I'm going to show you all the ones I have that are in the matte velvet forms. Um, the first color is this really gorgeous nude velvet. Now, I've done a um, velvet matte type of lipstick review from Chanel, and I have to say Chanel did not have any light color matte lipsticks that were great, but this matte lip balm is gorgeous. It's Even though it's a nude color, it looks really, really great on. It doesn't accentuate as much of the uh, lines that you have or the crevices on your lips. Um, I do find that because it is a matte and it is a nude, it is a must have just because I don't see any formulas out there either from Urban Decay, Lancome, NARS that came out with a great nude like this. Now this nude I think is a very neutral one. It does have some warmth in it so it's going to work great for a lot of skin tones. Now I think to make a matte lipstick work you have to have a balm underneath but because this is a matte balm it is very hydrating so that's a plus now moving on to the next one this one i think is going to be a very popular one this is number 205 and the reason why i say it's popular is because it's a very everyday color that's natural pink for those who do have darker skin tone this would be a great nude color and those who do have fair skin i do find that this is a great color for you to wear as an everyday and it's a really nice pop of color it brings a lot of color back into your face if you do have fair skin so definitely check this one out i think it's a, a very safe color to have now the next one is one of my favorites which i was really surprised um it's number 220 it's called showy flamboyant and the reason why I was really surprised that I would like this is because it's such a blue base pink that has a lot of purple and vi um, violet 
undertones. So usually I do stay away from it, but I think that it's such a great contrast against my warm skin tone. So I actually really, really love this color. It looks great um, because it is a matte. I don't know if I would actually wear that if it was a shiny finish. So this is a really gorgeous color. I think this is a very nice statement lip. Now moving on to um, another one that I think might be very popular is this gorgeous kind of almost neon coral color. Now this I thought that I was going to love, but when I wore it on my lips against my warmer skin tone, it just kind of looks like Barbie. Um, I don't know, it doesn't look very flattering to me, but maybe it's because of the makeup or the foundation or whatever that I'm wearing but um, it is a gorgeous color. Now keep in mind these matte colors can also work on your cheeks as a blush so this color as a blush is gorgeous so even if um, you don't really find that it's a great lip product a little bit goes a long way and then a little bit on your cheeks as well so I always love these products that you can actually wear as two products so definitely check that one out as a blush duo if you're into that. And the last color that I have is number 240 and it's this gorgeous orangey tone red. Now I have to say I was really surprised about this color. I felt like it has so much warm undertones that it might not work for those who have blue undertones but I did try it on one of my friends and it actually looks really really gorgeous. It's a very modern take on a red lip and I think that with a matte finish, it's going to look more chic, more trendy, as well as it's more workable. It isn't like the bam in your face because it's so shiny. So definitely try this out. So moving on to the shiny finish ones. I am really excited about these because they are so hydrated and it's more of a finish that I'm more comfortable with because of the lines on my lips. Now let's start out with the lightest color. This is in 105 and this is a really gorgeous like baby doll pink in the packaging, but inside when you wear it on top of your lips with the mixture of the colors that are already on your lips I do find that this to this to almost be a nude color I actually really like this color again I am NOT a person that likes nude lipsticks or any type of lips it's hard for me to find a lipstick that is lighter that I will like just because of the lines on my lips and the um, way that I like to wear my lipstick sometimes I find that it washes me out but I do find that this one works really, really great. It's a gorgeous color. Now moving on to the next one, which is one of my absolute favorite called Koi Timed. And it's number 140. In the packaging, I was like, wow, this is like almost a bronzy brown. But it is actually more of like a taupey brown. Very similar to pink truffle without the pinkness to it. Which I think this is a great color to wear all by itself in more like a fall color in my opinion and it's a great great color I think it's really gorgeous um, it's a different color I think it's different from anything I've really seen that's out there it's not a typical pink or red or you know it's more of a taupey um, beigey color which is gorgeous alright moving on to um, some more colors this is a orange tint uh, 130 which is Tea Seductive. This one, I didn't find it to be very flattering just because there is too much orange to it, but I do think this would look gorgeous on those who have very fair skin um, or those who have medium skin, but um, particularly those who have fair just because I think it does make a great statement color without it being too um, bold. Now moving on to the next color, it's more of a red that has a lot of pink undertones and it's very jelly like it isn't as pigmented as the other darker colors in my opinion it's a little bit more on the jelly sheer side so it's a great color for those who are not comfortable with wearing a statement lip now again with these type of products they're very hydrating you can actually use it on top of your regular lipsticks to keep it hydrated so keep in mind when you're purchasing these that these are colors that you would want to wear on top now for me if if you are a person that have a lot of red lipsticks, um, this is actually a great color to have just because it is sheer. You can apply it on top to make the lipstick a little bit more pink, a little bit more hydrated. Onto my absolute favorite color of the whole collection, this is number 150, and it's a gorgeous deep red. Now, deep in a sense that if you apply it over and over on top of your lips in layers. Now if you wear it just really sheerly, it's still a gorgeous color. I have to say this is just the most beautiful color out of the collection. And I just love how deep it is because then you can wear it 
um, all by itself with a light um, makeup on the eyes. Now moving on to the next one, this is more of a pinkish color in number 120. This is really gorgeous, it's a really fun color, definitely great for the spring and summer. Um, it's a great pink that is still can be sheer and then you can also um, pile it on to give that intensity. In the packaging it looks like a deepish um, raspberry color but on the lips it's actually more vibrant. It's more like a pop of pink. I really like this one as a statement lip. I cannot wait to wear this out when I'm just wearing like an eyeliner and then wearing it as a statement pop of color. Now the last color I have here is number 115. It's more of a vibrant um, magenta color that has actually little particles of shimmer. None of these other ones I found that the shimmer showed up on the list, but this one did. If you do like shimmer, a little bit of um, glitter, then definitely check this one out. I do find that this has a lot of blue undertones, so it's going to look great on those who do have um, more of a cool undertone. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and that you found it helpful. Hopefully it will help you when you're making a decision of buying these either online or in the store. I know it's a little bit hard for you to buy these type of products without knowing how it looks like on um, you're on, a, on lips or on against the skin. So hopefully this was helpful and that um, it will help you while you're shopping. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video next Saturday. Bye!